All right, so second time trying this, it should go well, though. Um, let's just start. The idea what I'm going to do is um, have multiple samples in one patch in contact so that you are triggering different parts of it from different keys on the keyboard. And better just show it than explain it. Um, so I got my sample. I have already bounced this. It is sitting. Uh, ready to go into contact. I have an output in contact set up. It's communicating on MIDI channel 5 and coming out of contact on channel uh, output 5. I have my drum beat right here. That is the sample that I'm going to use. I'm going to drag it into contact and change the output to come out of 5. I am pitched up. So here we go. So there it is in the middle of the keyboard C3, and it is um, ready to go. But I'm going to open up the sample with this wrench. And what that does is it kind of gives you access to a whole slew of things that you can do from within contact. We're really going to look at two things the mapping editor and the wave editor. So first we're going to click on the mapping editor so it shows it. This yellow block here represents how wide your sample is spread across your keys. C3, the yellow um, note, is the root, meaning the one, you know, essentially the at recorded pitch. So that sounds exactly like my sample. If I come over to the side, you can see my cursor change and I am clicking and dragging to narrow this range because I really don't think that I'm going to use that sample even though if I were creating thunder it might sound interesting or that low of a trigger. So I've chained, I'm going to then grab this whole block, click and drag it down to C1. So my root maintains pitch but it's triggering on C1. Then I'm going to hide, so this is highlighted in yellow and I'm going to come up to edit, duplicate zone and drag this across. Now what I don't like is that they're overlapping um, but not a huge deal. I'm going to go back to edit, duplicate zone. Notice I'm clicking in the background um, to un or deselect it so that I can drag it. All right, so right now what we have is the same sample triggering at four different zones essentially in the sampler. But I don't want them to trigger the same thing. So we're going to edit the sample from within contact a bit. I'm going to highlight this one so that actually I'm not going to do anything to this one. This one's going to represent my first beat before the snare drum. Basically that. I'm going to highlight on this one and I'm going to hit wave editor so that I can see the wave of the sample. I can play it back right here. Here's the snare drum. I'm going to drag my start cursor uh, over so that it starts right on that snare drum. I'm going to zoom in so I can be precise about that. So now my second sample is triggering the beat with the snare drum. I happen to know that the kick drum, the downbeat kick drum of the second half of this beat is right there. this one and finally get to that last snare drum which I believe is there. Let's see. And I do like to look at these closely for precision. And there we go. Okay, so I'm just going to draw this in. Go to drums demo my track. And I am in C, so this is at pitch. And I'm going to dra draw in beat long notes. And I'm going.
want you to remember that this is my kick drum. You can hear the end of it, but I'm only drawing, or I should say, if I click on this, you're gonna hear the whole measure. But because I'm only drawing in um, a beat, that's all you're gonna hear. Well, I guess you hear a little bit of that snare drum. Interesting. It's a little slow in the uptake. But you get the idea of what I'm doing here. I'm putting one first beat, second beat, third beat. And fourth beat. So in the edit window, it looks like this. And it sounds like this. Now, why would I do that if it's just going to play the whole sample? If I were just going to play the whole sample, I probably wouldn't do that. But this gives you the ability to do some weird things. Let's say I just duplicate this clip. And I'm going to change this note to play if notes. Um, then... that, leave that like that. Don't know how that's going to sound, but experiment. Um, maybe I will try something even different over here. Let's do this, let's do this, let's what that sounds like. I kind of like this one. Don't totally like it. What if I put it there? Okay, I can dig that. just allows you to vary up your drum beat a little bit. Um, so remember that what we did was we opened up the sample. We clicked on mapping editor so we could see where that sample was mapped. We narrowed down the range. We moved our sample, paying attention to where we were placing the root. I wanted those on C. And then we opened up the wave, we duplicated these, and then we opened up the wave editor and adjusted the starting points of each of the four samples to be on the downbeat quarter notes. And there you go. Have fun.